giving Throwback Weight Watchers a try. Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me. I thought this week we would try one of the old Weight Watcher plans and just kind of see how that works. This last week I did intermittent fasting and I think that experiment was a fail for me. Um, I found I was actually very snacky at night, which I shared with you guys. It's not usually a problem that I have. So um, that was different. Um, and I just think it just threw me, me off and I probably would need to do it a lot longer than a week to really kind of maybe give it a fair shake. Um, but I kind of prefer just to listen to my body and eat when I'm hungry and don't eat when I'm not. So um, I don't know, I, I maybe it will be something I incorporate again down the road, but um, overall just definitely was not my favorite week. Um, and I found that it was a lot easier to kind of go off track also, I think because by the time I ate, I was so hungry that I was making, you know, not bad choices, just maybe not as good of choices as I would have. So um, yeah, not been my favorite plan, but that's okay. So this week I thought we would try um, the old Weight Watchers blue plan, which was actually the old Weight Watchers freestyle plan, um, neither of which I ever actually did with Weight Watchers. Um, I have the Healthy app, which used to be called iTrack Bites. It's the same company they just rebranded. And you can actually do that. It's called uh, Better Balance on their um, app. And so you can do that and, and basically track and do the exact same thing. I've been toying with maybe doing a trial with actual Weight Watchers because now they have the personal points. So if you've never done Weight Watchers or you're kind of not following, their plans change every two to three years. Um, I think there's actually a schedule. I just don't know what it is. So the um, the plan that they're doing now, you actually, you basically pick what you want your zero point foods to be. So you're given a point allowance every single day and um, some extra points over the course of a week. So instead of having a budget of, you know, 1,300 to 1,500 calories, you'll you'll have a point budget instead. So you'll have like 26 points and then you'll have, you know, maybe 40 for the whole week. So you can choose to, you know, even them out over the week or you can have, you know, a cheat day um, and allow for that. So it's really kind of flexible, which is nice. But the reason I did Weight Watchers years and years ago, back when it was just points and points plus, I think. And I did really like it. Um, the downside is um, you kind of, in my opinion, I became dependent on it because I didn't really learn how many calories were in foods. I knew the point values of foods instead. And so I don't know. Um, I think it sometimes encourages you to eat some foods that are, you know, maybe have artificial sweeteners or a few more chemicals because they're lower in points rather than focusing just on if they're healthy or not. But at the same time, it does still encourage you to kind of focus on the fruits and veggies and that sort of thing. So um, with the blue plan or freestyle, you had vegetables for free, uh, fruits for free. So you can eat as much as you want. Obviously you can overeat on fruits, especially. So you do need to still be careful, um, but they are zero points. And then you also had um, all your lean proteins were also zero. So eggs, um, chicken breast, 99% lean turkey, um, those sorts of things, fish are all zero points. And then you also had, um, I seem to remember it having, and again, I never really did it. So that's kind of hard for me. I thought it had beans on it and the app wants to give me beans as zero point foods. One of the food lists I found didn't have it on it and another one I found did have it on it. So I'm actually not sure. So if you know for sure if the blue plan or freestyle had beans or legumes as zero points, leave that in the comments down below because I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and count them as zero. Um, on the healthy app, it's actually kind of nice. There's a toggle switch. So you can decide if you want to have something have points or not. I literally could go in and say, ice cream, no points, thank you. <laughs> I would never do that, but you can. Um, so it's really nice. It's very flexible that way. Um, so yeah, so because I have that app, it's like $35 a year, I think. Um, and I've had that app actually for a few years and off and on I've tracked with it and, um, you know, I'll do what used to be the green plan. Um, I think that the blue plan does focus not just on the fruits and veggies, but also, you know, on those lean proteins, things like that. So, I'm going to try it and see if I like it. Um, and then maybe down the road, I'll do, you know, the green plan or 
Um, you can do the purple plan on it too, which was, um, I think simply filling was what it was actually called before. So that's where you actually have whole grains um, as zero point foods too. That can get dangerous. Um, I've never done that plan. Um, and I think it's a little harder to do in the app. So I don't know, we'll see. But uh, for this week, I just thought, you know, why not give it a shot? For breakfast, I have a half a cup of oatmeal, which is four points. 20 grams of the omega-3 deluxe mix, which is three points. And then my caramel protein that I always put in my coffee. Um, and that's two points for the whole bottle. I may not finish the whole bottle, but I'm just going to count the whole thing um, in case I do. So that is breakfast. I'm down here in my workout room. Um, I'm going to walk on the treadmill very slowly. My knee is still not okay. So I'm just sort of walking literally a quarter mile at a time very slowly but i'm just trying to get some movement in um it's better than nothing right and so i'm gonna go ahead and do that um you'll laugh at you can see i have a an old taibo um kickboxing um i don't know what those are called bag i guess um, so i don't know if you guys uh ever did taibo or remember that um i can give you kind of a, a little mini tour here um let me switch the camera around Okay, so this is my workout room. I have 3 million books that, no, I have not read all those, but those are all weight loss and workout related. I have a problem. Um, <laughs> that was my yoga bag that I used to have at work. And now that I'm working from home, it's just been sitting there ever since. So I probably should need to empty that. Um, so this was my husband's um, weight bench. You can see we've got tons and tons of free weights, tons of um, yoga mats and rollers and just all the things. Uh, this is an inversion table. I'm sitting really close to it, so you can't see the whole thing, but um, this is really good to hang upside down for your back. Um, I don't do it nearly enough. Uh, and then as you come over here, of course, there's my Tybo and my treadmill. So um, that's kind of what my workout room consists of. Um, and then the other thing I do is I move this inversion table out of the way so that I've got a whole bunch of just floor space in here. Um, and then I've got um, a TV up here. There's my water and a drill because we're working on some stuff. Um, <laughs> there's my TV up here um, so that I can, you know, watch stuff and distract myself while I'm um, working out. And then this cabinet has um, a whole bunch of, you know, DVDs and things like that. And then also some Xbox games. Um, as you can see, I've got an old tape player and DVD player there. Um, so yeah, and then, you know, I have a fan I can plug in, some more free weights. Um, so just, you know, literally everything from probably the nineties on that you could possibly have to need to work out. I try and have a nice variety in here so I don't get bored. Um, and then if I need ideas, I can always get one of those books and find some, which I hardly ever do. I want to start, I want to pull out my total gym again. Um, this was the knockoff one from Sears. Yeah. You remember Sears? Um, it was actually a total gym, but it's not the one that like you got online, um, that costs, you know, a thousand dollars. This one was the one from Sears, which was like a hundred, 150. It doesn't have all the attachments is why. Um, so it doesn't have like the footboard and things like that. It didn't come with that. So it's not quite as good as the real one, but, um, the total gym 1000 was not as good, but it does work. So I kind of want to get that out again because I'm thinking with my knee, I might be able to do that. So who knows? Maybe I'll try that tonight and, um, you know, see if that works out better for me. But anyway, that's a quick tour of my workout room that I don't utilize nearly as much as I should. Lunch is going to be a taco salad. So I have a whole bunch of greens. Um, there's some mushrooms in there too. At that's three ounces of 93% lean ground beef um, with some taco seasoning in it. And then a third cup of canned corn and a third cup of canned black beans. Those were just left over in my fridge. So I just mixed all that together, heated it up and put it on the salad. Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm doing also for a dressing. So I have in here, um, I have three tablespoons of the um, paste um, medium salsa. And to that, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of this Walden Farms Thousand Island dressing. I may not even use all of that dressing, um, but um, I thought that would be really delicious dressing. So I'm gonna mix that up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there it is all mixed together. And so 
which is kind of convenient because I can measure out how much I'm actually using because I have a tablespoon. Um, so I'm just going to drizzle it on the top. Um, you know, as I eat, I might add a little bit more if it needs it, but um, I did this a long time ago um, where I actually mixed them together first like this and um, it works really good and actually I kind of forgotten about it. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to have that for lunch. The lettuce is zero, corn is zero, the beef is four points for three ounces. Um, the taco seasoning is zero for a, te a teaspoon, and I don't even think I probably use that much. The salsa is zero. The Thousand Island dressing, because it's the Walden Farms, that's zero as well. Mushrooms are zero. And then the third cup of black beans. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to count those or not. So um, I'm going to go ahead and count them as two points just because I'm not sure. It's a third of a cup, so it's either two points or zero. I'm not sure, so I'm going to go ahead and count it as two. So um, that is my lunch, and I'll bring you back for snack and dinner. Okay, I'm going to try a little different angle and see how this works out. But um, it is dinner time, and I was so busy at work that I did not get a snack at all today, and I'm starving. So I'm going to get this in the oven, and then I'm going to go ahead and make about half the snack I was going to. I'm going to kind of split it in half where I'm going to do, um, I was going to do my two rice cakes with avocado. So instead I'm just going to do one rice cake with avocado. And then for dessert, I'm going to do a different kind of rice cake. Um, and I'll show you that too. So I'm going to get going on this dinner. We're going to do mahi mahi tonight. Um, so I will, um, kind of show you how I get that in the oven. So I'm going to start with, um, just spraying my pan with some avocado spray. And I've got my oven preheating to 375 right now. And I just have these frozen mahi mahi from uh, Costco. And you can tell they're still frozen. You can hear it. I meant to take these out earlier and forgot. So, whoops. It's fine. I've done these from frozen many, many, many times. So it's not a big deal. Um, okay, so on the top of these, I'm going to sprinkle on some onion powder and some garlic powder. Can you hear my dog eating in the background? She's, she's very loud. And she waits on filming to eat. I mean, to be fair, I'm hungry too. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to sprinkle those on. And then I think I'm going to use this hand so I have a clean hand. Onion, garlic, and then for um, for fish, for pretty much every kind of meat, really, I just use a meat thermometer to see if it's done. Um, when it's done, it should just kind of flake apart. But um, especially where it's frozen in the middle right now, um, I want to make sure it's completely done. So I'm gonna pop them in. I probably check on them in about 10 to 15 minutes, but I'll let you know how long they took at the end um, to be completely done. So what I'm going to do is put these in. Um, once they're almost done, I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to put just about a teaspoon of just low sodium soy sauce on the top. And that flavor combination I just really like. So um, I'll kind of take you along as I do that. So let me get these in the oven real quick. While the fish is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and also make some side dishes. So I have just some frozen green peas here. So it's, the only, it's only my son and I eating dinner tonight. Um, my husband's working out of town, so I'm not gonna make a whole lot. Um, this is gonna be these baking crumbles that I've used on here before, if you can see that. Um, a serving is a tablespoon, which is 30 calories. I'm actually going to do four tablespoons in the whole thing. Um, so that's what I have in here. And I actually weighed it out at seven grams for one tablespoon. So I did 28 grams. And that's going to give a nice little bit of flavor um, to the peas. And I'm just going to do these in the microwave. I'm also making myself a red potato. Again, just in the microwave, no big deal. And then uh, my son likes... Um, mashed potatoes. There's a certain instant mashed potato that I make that he really likes. So that's what I'm going to make for him. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this in and I'm going to check on my fish and I still need to make my snack because I'm starving. <laughs> oh, incidentally, I also did um, find the answer to the beans question. It is zero. So I went ahead and updated that in my app to be zero, which will give me a couple more points for the day, which is what I'm using this bacon on. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going and hopefully I'll show you my snack. <laughs> 
finally gonna go ahead and start my snack. Let me bring this over so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. I'm just taking one of these white cheddar um, rice cakes that I love so much and 25 grams of avocado. I've shown you this before. And I'm just gonna smush that onto the top and top it with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning, which is my favorite. And that is going to be my snack. And I forgot to look and tell you how many points it was. I think it's two points for the avocado and one point for the um, rice cake, but if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself on the screen. All right, so I'm just gonna spread that around. This is gonna be like a snack that leads right into dinner, but that's okay. I'm very hungry, so it's fine. I did go ahead and also um, flip the fish that's in the oven and I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and add that just a little bit of soy sauce onto the top and that will be ready to go. Um, I got my um, peas in the oven right now. I just need to stir them um, and my red potatoes in there too. So I'm gonna check on that and then um, get my son's potatoes done and dinner will be done, which I'm excited about. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. Um, and incidentally, I don't count the calories in that because it's like a teaspoon and it's five calories. So I'm not counting that. I know on Weight Watchers that would be zero points anyway. So, um, so I don't even bother counting that. So I'll sprinkle that on and I'm gonna chat on on this really quickly because I'm starving. <laughs> so still working on my snack. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys, um, my potato was done. So this is my little red potato. And I'm just gonna spray that with just a couple sprays of the uh, butter spray. Um, this one is, I can't believe it's not butter. There's a bunch of different um, brands. No matter what brand it is, my kids call it, I can totally believe it's not butter. <laughs> so they're not a fan, but I am, I really like it. So I'm gonna have that. And then um, I'll go ahead and dish up my, my peas and bacon are done. So I'm just gonna have about half of what was in here just because I wanna make sure, I'm not worried about how many peas I eat, but I wanna make sure I don't get um, too much bacon. So that's about half of what I made. Oh, and the fish is ready. Pause this because I have to say her name and I don't want all of yours to go off and then you'll be mad at me. So hold on a second. It's looking good. Okay. So I don't know if it's quite done yet. I don't think it is. Um, but like I said, I always test it. Yeah, it's Oh, it is there. Yay. Okay. Let's try this one in the thicker part. Yeah, I think we're good. I actually like to put this on a little before it's done done, um, but I missed that mark, which is not the first time I've missed that mark. It completely still works. Um, so I'm going to drizzle a little of this on. Oh, I think it's done too. And that's all I do. I just drizzle a little on the top. And I'm going to pop this back in for just like a minute or two is all. Set a timer for two minutes. Mm. Mm. There you go. All right. As I'm still eating my snack, <laughs> dinner will be ready before I'm done with this. Okay, so these are those potatoes that my son likes. It's just the Idaho and this one is the roasted garlic. We like, um, I think, every flavor they have. Um, so I just mix that up with some water. I don't add any extra butter or anything to it. So it's really not that bad if I wanted to have some. There's four servings um, per container, but actually I add a little bit of just plain to this too, just to stretch it a little bit because we're frugal. <laughs> um, but for, if you did just this package, it's 110 calories for a quarter of the package. So really, it's actually not that bad. Um, you know, with what I added to it, I would probably, if I had a quarter of this, I probably counted 150 calories. I don't know how many points that would be with the Weight Watchers thing, but um, really it's not that bad. So if you're craving something like this, it's not that bad, go for it. Um, all right, so let's pull the fish out. And dinner will be served. Ooh, look at that. It smells really good too. So that's one of my favorite ways to do any kind of fish. I've done salmon this way too. It's delicious. Um, you can do, I mean, honestly, almost probably any meat you can do this way, but um, I just think it's really simple, really, you know, quick and I like it. So, um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up, show you what my plate looks like. 
Okay, so that's what my plate looks like. Um, really, you know, low calorie too, um, but just delicious, lots and lots of flavor in this, in this meal. Um, incidentally, did you notice I got new dishes? I'm so excited. I wanted new dishes, you guys, for years. Dishes that I had before, I literally bought at a thrift store when I was 18 years old, which means they're quite literally, I've had them for 29 years because I just turned 47 um, and they were already used when I bought them. So, <laughs> but it was when I bought them, it was a full set of 12. It's definitely not anymore. Um, and they were in good shape, so why not? And they were really sturdy and, you know, I really liked them, but I've wanted new plates and dishes for quite a while. So I'm very excited. These were on sale at Macy's, the sale's over, sorry. Um, but um, it was a great sale and I had $10 off at Macy's. So um, it was just a screaming deal. I got um, a set of 12. So there's, um, there's three sizes of plates and like, I think five different sizes of bowls. Um, and it came to $72 after tax with my $10 off. So incredible, incredible deal. So I can pass it up. I'm very excited. I got new dishes. <laughs> announcement. What's the announcement? Dinner's ready. Announcing. Ready. Ready. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wrap up my day with a little bit of dessert. So I have, this is a caramel rice cake and um, I was actually wrong. So I'm gonna go over on points just a little bit, but honestly it's worth it and I don't care. Um, these are caramel rice cakes. These are actually two points, not one. So my white cheddar ones are one point and these are two, which that's Weight Watcher math for you, which is one of the things that people find frustrating because these are still 50 calories, but they're two points. So kind of high. I guess it's probably because of the caramel would be my guess. They're probably a little higher in sugar. Um, I'm going to take some of this PB2 cashew. I didn't even know they made cashew. I, um, I actually just found this, so I was kind of excited to try it. Um, so I'm going to take um, this, a serving size on this is two tablespoons, which is 13 grams. I wanted just one tablespoon. Um, so I did just six grams. So it's ever, so I can't do half grams on my scale. So it's close enough. Um, so this is six grams of just the powder. So I'm going to mix in just a little bit of water with this and I'll show you what that looks like. And you want to start really, really slow because you can always add a little more water, but you can't take it away. So, okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. And all you're looking for is to make peanut butter. So you're just looking for the consistency of peanut butter. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. It just sort of reconstitutes it a little bit. Perfect. There we go. Now I have cashew butter. If I wasn't worrying about Weight Watcher points, these are 50 calories. Um, I just add, added 30 calories of this, 35 calories of chocolate chips on the top too. So I did those by weight as well. So this was, um, it's 15 grams for a serving of, with, with the 70 calories um, of chocolate chips. That was the only one I couldn't find. Um, these are actually a little bit bigger than the ones I'm using. So I just did it by weight um, because I couldn't find the same ones. I know that those are the same brand. So, um, so yeah, so these are 15 grams. So I did the same thing. Um, I, anytime it's an odd number like that, I just go down one. So instead I did seven grams instead. And so all I'm going to do is spread this. And it doesn't take much to kind of, you know, get it spread all over nicely. And then I'm just going to take my chocolate chips and I want every bite to have a chocolate chip in it. <laughs> so I actually take my time and put these on all organized and pretty. And again, I just did this by weight on the chocolate chips too. And that's my weird little dessert, but it is so good. So actually, I don't know on the cash this cashew. Actually, I've never tried this cashew, but it's really good with just regular PB2, the peanut butter. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give that I go for dessert. Okay, it's the end of the night. Um, that dessert, it was good, but actually I think I like the regular PB2 better, at least for that. So we'll see. Um, I have a couple other recipes that I want to try the PB um, cashew in, so I'll give it a try on a couple other things, but um, I think maybe just the regular PB might, might be better. The regular powdered peanut butter might be better. So Anyway, it was still really good. I mean, anything with chocolate is always good, right? So it was still good. It was a good day of eating. So I'm going to kind of go through, forgive me, I'm going to have to look down because I don't have all this memorized at this point. And I'll um, kind of go through, you know, what the points look like for today. So I get 23 daily points. 
and 42 weekly points with this Better Balance plan. Um, so today I used 25 points. Um, so I did dip into uh, my weeklies again by two points. So for breakfast, that caramel protein shake that I put in my coffee is two points. The half a cup of old fashioned oats was four points and the omega-3 on top was three points. Um, for lunch, I had that salad. So I had the lettuce, corn, um, the taco seasoning, the salsa, the Thousand Island dressing, the mushrooms, and the black beans were all zero points. So the only thing that even had points in that was the ground beef. So my entire lunch was four points. It was four points for three ounces of the 93% lean. Um, for dinner, the mahi-mahi was zero. The soy sauce was zero. That red potato that I had was three points. Um, the frozen peas were zero. Um, and then the two tablespoons of the crumbled bacon uh, was two points. Uh, my snack, which I had right pretty much with dinner, <laughs> was the white cheddar rice cake. That was one point. 25 grams of avocado on the top was one point. Um, for actual dessert, the um, caramel rice cake was two points. The cashew powder for one tablespoon was one point. And then um, the uh, chocolate chips that I put on top was two points. So um, all in all, I mean, that was a pretty full day of eating and I was able to stay, you know, pretty close. I went to, like I said, I went two points over. Um, I could have easily chosen the other kind of rice cake and been and dropped one point there. Um, and then I could have, you know, either not done the chocolate chips or done a little bit less to get it down to one point. Uh, but I also, I still want to enjoy my food and, you know, do things that taste good and not feel deprived either. So, um, so all in all, um, you know, 25 points for a first day of, of trying it, not too bad. So, um, so that's what I'm going to try this week is, you know, just to stay as close. I'm going to try not to use those weeklies as much as I can, but if I go, you know, two points over or whatever, it's not that big a deal to me, two or three points, it's not a big deal. Um, but the main reason that I really want to stay, uh, away from those weeklies is because we have Easter, right? <laughs> so um, I'm actually doing a big brunch at my house. And then, you know, of course, there'll be the Easter candy and the, um, you know, deviled eggs and all the things. So I won't go crazy. Easter doesn't tend to be probably as calorically dense as some holidays. It's not probably as bad as like, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas, but it is still pretty candy heavy and that sort of thing. So um, like I've said with every holiday so far this year, I'm really trying to keep it to one day. So I will have what I feel like having and then that's it. It's not going to be, oh, there's leftover Easter candy. No, no, it's, I have to cut it off. Um, so anyway, so hopefully with, you know, counting the points that will help for the rest of the week. Um, I'm not going to count points on Easter Sunday, but I'm also going to assume I used all my weeklies or at least most of my weeklies. So I'm really going to keep it to, you know, as close to 23 points a day as I can. Incidentally, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, the iTrack Bites app or Healthy, I don't know if it's Healthy or Health Eye. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, that app, though, it does actually, if you buy the app, which is what I did, that's the $35 a year, I think it is. Um, you actually can track either calories or macros with it. So today I was at 443 calories. So I like to dual track because especially with Weight Watchers, if you don't eat enough zero point foods, you can wind up eating like 800 calories in a day, which is not my goal. I don't want to get to the point where I'm killing my metabolism. So I was still within my 13 to 1500 calories. That's not actually my target. So if I fall under that or over that, I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to focus just on points this week. But I did want to mention that I am able to kind of dual track in that app, which is really, really nice. So um, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, I'm not going to go day after day that too low um, or too high. But, you know, I'm also that's not the focus. Otherwise, all I'm doing is driving myself crazy dual, tra dual tracking. So um, the focus is going to be on points. But I just thought I'd mention that in that app, you can, you can track both ways. So anyway, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do click that subscribe. I'd love to have you join our family here. And you can always click that bell for notifications if you'd like notified each and every time I upload a video. I want to thank you so much for all of your support and being so encouraging to each other as well. And I wish you a lot of luck this week. See you next week. Bye-bye. Really only listening to my dog snacking in the background.
At least she's enjoying it. I mean, I'll give her that. Okay. Ooh, that was a little all over the place. Okay, I'm a big old hot mess. There we go.